Hello everyone and welcome to The Theory Zone, the pocket outside of space and time where we forget our inevitable death. Unless we're talking about it, which today we are. Which brings us to what we're talking about, and that is an interesting idea that popped into my head. Companions in Doctor Who never really die. Now, I just want to point out that I'm talking about New Who from the Ninth Doctor onwards. Sorry, Adric, who could have easily been saved. Come on, Doctor! You could have just fixed the TARDIS and materialize around Adric and then disappear again. Just make it look like he died. You've done that like a thousand times. Sorry. Back to the point. So let's go through each companion one by one and determine if they really did die. First on the list we have Rose Tyler. Well, if you don't already know what happens, I don't really know why you're watching this video. While she is declared dead on our world, she really ends up in a parallel dimension living with the human doctor, living a happy life. Yay. Next we have Martha Jones, who, with another companion, Mickey Smith, just kinda left the doctor to live. I kinda didn't like her for that. Then we come to Astrid Peth, and yes, she is a companion. It says so on Wikipedia and the Book of Whoology, so just leave it alone, okay? And this is the first companion we see who one would argue does die, but then her, I guess, spirit is released into space to travel the universe, so she didn't fully die. Then we come to Donna Noble, whose memory was wiped. A very sad moment. She may or may not have been my favorite companion. Now, one may argue that she died, but she forgot everything, but she is very much alive. Next we have Lady Christina de Souza. I, I probably pronounced that wrong, so sorry. And yes, she is also considered a companion, who was denied the request of traveling with the Doctor, but lived happily ever after on a flying bus. Here I'm just gonna put companions that were kinda scattered throughout seasons 1 through 4. Captain Jack Harkness died, but then Rose saved him with the power of the heart of the TARDIS, and he never died again. Unless he was the face of Bo, which you can check out here. And even if he did die, you were kinda happy for him. Then we have Sarah Jane Smith, a temporarily returning companion who is very well alive in her own series. I... I think. I never actually watched it, but I'm pretty sure she's alive. Then we come to the debatables, Amy and Rory. Let's just review. After a whole adventure in Manhattan with Weeping Angels, the gang walk off to the TARDIS where Rory sees his gravestone, and then a Weeping Angel takes him. Out of sadness and love, Amy lets the Weeping Angel take her to be with Rory. Now, why am I not counting this as death? Well, they didn't specifically die traveling with the Doctor, they just died of old age. Sure, it resulted as a consequence of traveling with the Doctor, but it didn't actually kill them. Besides, there was a sense of closure with the last page and everything in River Song's book. Who is next up on the list and who we see die before we even know who she is? After she sacrifices herself to save the library, the Doctor uploads her conscious, which was kept in the sonic screwdriver his future self gave to him, to the library network where she will live forever. So she didn't really die. Finally we have Clara Oswald. After taking the chronolog, the evil raven flies into Clara and leaves her in a painful, screaming death. But, later in the series, the Time Lords freeze her in time the moment before she dies. She and the Doctor run away, and after the Doctor forgets her, she and me travel in the TARDIS, eventually planning to go back to Gallifrey. So, sure, while she is technically dead, she's still traveling throughout space and time. As for Bill, well, at the time I'm making this video, I don't know yet. I'm kinda hoping she just leaves, have her own life. She seems like the kind of person to do that. My point being is that no one truly dies like Adric in an explosion. But what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have other Doctor Who theories you'd like to share? Tell me in the comments below or on my social media pages. Until then, 